A roach infestation ruins a family's hotel stay, and it's not the first time this has happened. I was walking around and I looked at this table here and there was a couple roaches and I'm like, hmm, where you see one or two, there's a few. In fact, 41 Action News discovered roaches were reported on several different occasions. Mackenzie Nelson has been digging into the Jackson County Health Department's inspections. She joins us now live from Blue Springs with what she found. Mackenzie. You guys, this is a stack of those inspection reports dating back to October of 2018. And inside these reports, we found several uh, complaints of live and dead roaches inside several of the rooms inside the Welcome Inn Hotel behind me. I lift up the toilet and roaches start coming out the bathroom. Last week, Tiffany Green called 41 Action News to the Welcome Inn off I-70 in Blue Springs. Inside the room she was rented, roaches were crawling on the floor, walls, and ceilings. My daughter would not sit down. She was literally walking around the room like one, two, three, four, five, six. Mama is 72. No, mama is 95. Mama is 100. Like, can you only imagine? After a long attempt, Green was finally given a refund. Since the story aired, former guests of the motel reached out to 41 Action News with similar stories. So we requested inspection reports from Jackson County Environmental Health. We found a number of complaints of roaches in several rooms inside the motel. On each occasion, the county inspector requested a professional pest control company to treat the rooms within 10 days. During that time, the room could not be rented out until a reinspection was passed. Since October 2018, the Welcome Inn was also cited for improper housekeeping practices, dirty towels, bed linens, mattresses, and box springs. The next inspection will be on December 4th. The county says during that visit, inspectors will check in on the ongoing roach situation at the hotel. So Jackson County Environmental Health tells me that hotels are inspected twice a year and we reached out to the Welcome Inn. We called them earlier today and asked them what they do to prevent things like this from happening and they had no comment. Reporting live in Blue Springs, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.